Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Little Bean to Me podcast channel and today I'm bringing you a little bit of a tutorial. So I wanted to redo some of my older videos about knitting for crocheters and so this video I wanted to talk about casting on. So you'll need your knitting needles and your yarn of appropriate size. So this is a DK worsted weight yarn and this is a size 8 needle just because it's what I had on hand. So this is what we're going to use. So I'm gonna show you three cast on methods, starting with my favorite, which is the long tail cast on. So long tail implies, well, you need a long tail. So the first step is to pull out as much yarn as you need to do your cast on. I like to measure down my arm um, if I'm doing larger projects. And then you're gonna wrap your yarn around your fingers, as I'm doing here. So you can see it goes from the tail goes around the outside of my thumb and then around my pointer finger and then out to the ball. So that is the basic setup. Now what we're going to do is take our knitting needle and make a loop by pushing down on the yarn and swirling our needle around. And then to do the cast on we are going to pick up the outside string, the inside string, and release your thumb. And so what that does is create a nice neat loop on your needle. So here again I'm going to show you slowly. You're going to pull down on your yarn and twist to create a loop and this will be our first stitch. It's not going to go anywhere. You use your finger to hold on to this loop while you do the cast on. So down, around, and use your finger. You're going to grab the outside strand on the outside of your thumb first then you're going to grab the inside strand on the inside of your pointer finger and pull it through the loop. Release your thumb and tighten your cast on stitch. So now we have two stitches and we're just going to continue here as we did before. Outside, inside, release your thumb, tighten your stitch. This is my favorite cast on because you can control the length of your yarn in between each stitch so you can cast on a little more loosely or have a more flexible edge for your cast on and I find that this cast on is quite flexible. So outside, inside, release your thumb, tighten your stitch. And this can go quite quickly as well. Right now we have four strands and here I'm going to show you again. Outside, inside, release your thumb, tighten your stitch and you get a nice neat edge on the bottom. Using your finger, you hold your knitting while you cast on. So you have a lot of control over the tension of your yarn, the position of your yarn, and this cast on can go quite quickly. So I'm gonna show you here in real time how fast I can cast on using this method. So the next cast on I'm going to show you is actually using a familiar tool, which is a crochet hook. So you can do a crochet or knit on cast on, and it starts similarly to your crochet chain where you're starting with a slip knot. So you'll need your yarn, your crochet hook, and your knitting needles all appropriately sized for your yarn that you're casting on with. And so here I'm going to create my slip knot. And then what you'll do here is you're going to insert your crochet hook into your stitch, just like if you were inserting it into your crochet piece. And you're going to pick up your yarn and then place it over the tip of your needle. Now, I am not very good at this cast on method. It is not my preferred cast on. But for a beginner knitter, this might be very familiar to you, especially if you're already a crocheter, that you use your crochet hook as a tool to cast your stitches onto your needle. Insert your hook, which I'm really poor at, struggling, 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 but that's okay. <laughs> and then you pull it through and push it over the tip of your needle, and then you have a nice little row of cast-on stitches. You can see that this yarn is slightly unraveling, but it's because I've been working with it and unwinding it for quite some time now. But you can see you would just go up, up, up to how many stitches you need, and it's a familiar tool. But if you wanted to do a different way, you could also use your knitting needle to do this type of a cast on. So you would start the same way with your stitches on. 
So here I'm going to struggle <laughs> and try and pick up the stitch and give up. So we're gonna start right at the beginning here. So we're gonna start with our slip knot and we're gonna insert our knitting needle and pick up our stitch that way. So you can use the knitting needle just like you would the crochet hook to pick up your stitch, still holding your yarn, oops, in the same way key when you drop a stitch like that is just don't panic <laughs> or you can wrap your yarn around English style which is throwing it with your right hand by inserting your knitting needle back to front wrapping your yarn and then placing that loop over the tip of your knitting needle so this is a knitted cast on insert wrap and then place the yarn over the tip of your needle really poorly here. Here we go. The yarn is split and yay, we did it. Okay, so <laughs> here you go. We have several stitches here, very sloppily done, but on my knitting needle nonetheless. And I could start knitting from here, no big deal. Now, one of my other favorite types of a cast on is a backwards loop cast on. So here we're going to start with a slip knot as we have for the knitted or crochet cast on. And this time we're going to make a loop with our fingers and then place the loop onto the knitting needle. So you want to make sure that the, the loose edge of your loop is on the inside. So when you're tightening your strand, the the strand won't undo as you pull onto the yarn. So you're twisting your fingers either towards yourself or away from yourself, depending which hand you're using, to create this loop. So here you see I'm pressing my finger down, picking the yarn up, twisting it away with the yarn crossing in front of itself, and then placing it onto the edge of the, or onto the tip of the knitting needle. So here I have a few stitches on, and this can also go quite quickly. And the benefit of doing this over a long tail cast on is that you don't need to pull out yarn or you might, you won't have to worry about miscalculating your yarn. So here you go, you have a nice straight lined edge here. And now I'm gonna show you on my right hand how I also do this. So again, I'm picking up the yarn, twisting it so that the loose edge goes in toward the knitting needle and then slipping the end over the tip of the knitting needle and then pulling to tighten. And so this is also a really controlled way to cast on because you can determine how long you want the yarn between your stitches, which could determine the flexibility or pliability of your edge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short lesson. Um, if you have any questions or comments for me, please do leave them in the comment section down below. Like if you like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!